techniques. Actually, there are four. Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, and Yongkyo. These are all controlling measures and against an attack by an assailant. Controlling the opponent's wrist and elbows simultaneously. Now, the controlling techniques of Aikido evolved out of the heritage of the art from the samurai warrior. The warrior had to use these techniques to control an opponent in battle. Another feature of Aikido is the wrist lock, kote gaishi, or reverse hand, twisting the wrist, twisting the wrist to the outside to apply pressure. Also using a controlling technique to affect a throw. Ah, here we have Nikkyo controlling the opponent's wrist working it into a throwing technique. This is one of Aikido's, Nikkyo is one of Aikido's interesting techniques. If not applied carefully, injury can result to the attacker. Now, Shiho Nage can be applied with uh, a wrist lock at the end to affect a throwing technique. Notice how Tomiki Sensei on the right blends with his attacker. He never uses brute force, the goal technique. Kaiten Nage, a rotary arm throw, and controlling again the weight of the head to help affect a throw. This is a feature of Aikido. Now, Master Weishiba actually founded Aikido in 1942, after his extensive study of swordsmanship and Daito Ryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu under Sogaku Takeda, he evolved it into a modern martial art. Weishiba Sensei died in 1969, leaving many followers to carry on the art of Aikido, and in fact, Tomiki Sensei being one of the principal founders, along with uh, Weishiba Sensei's son and many, many others. Now, another one of the practitioners of Aikido is uh, Koichi Tohei Sensei. Kohei Sensei, along with uh, Weishiba Sensei's son, uh, some of the principal practitioners and students of the art to carry it on for yet another generation. Now Gozo Shioda, another name recognized from Aikido's lineage, was a rather famous practitioner. 